or Hayden and Langer. There is in the air, it's a safe, it shouldn't be, they're all running foot, will they get there? They do, that's one for none, that's a big wicket, Rudolph takes the catch, went for the pull shot, there was only one man on the onside in front of the wicket, Hayden went for that pull shot, top edge and a very good catch, what a start. Excellent catch and a very good piece of bowling, just a bit quicker on Hayden than he thought, he wasn't quite through with the shot, the ball may not have bounced as much as he wanted, they were all after it. Rudolph has called for it, and then with a big sigh has grabbed it the second time. He's got the top edge. Don't worry about the sweeper. Mid-off's enough. The captain's got it. Graham Smith is the man who took himself out of the slips and went to uh, mid-off. A very similar dismissal to the way his partner got out earlier on, Matthew Hayden. Hayden attempting to pull a ball that probably wasn't short enough. Very similar sort of footwork and a pretty similar result. A high skied top edge. So South Africa have got their second wicket, as has Makaya Ntini. Two for 111. Well, here we go. The pull shot up in the air again. And what a brilliant catch. It looked like it was going to fall between uh, two fieldsmen there. But Longevelt has got across and taken a terrific catch. That is a brilliant effort, Charles Longevelt. It looked to me like Mike Hussey was going to get lucky here. As it turned out, it was a brilliant catch. I thought he placed this well off the well, almost a leading edge of the bat. Longevelt has to move a fair way, then goes one-handed and takes it brilliantly. Cushions the elbow so it doesn't jar out and hangs on to the catch. And that's a big wicket straight after T. Mike Hussey has been in good form. He's out for 23. Australia 4 for 180. Edged and straight through to Mark Boucher. So this is a very good spell from Makai Antini after T. Another batsman with a start and out for 41. Now Brad Hodge joins the list of Australians who I'm sure will be disappointed. He was playing well, looked fairly sound. And T on this occasion may just have held its line, that one. We talked about the angle in towards the right hand. Well, that one may just have held its line. A good, healthy edge. And Antini now has four wickets. He's got four for 60, and Hodges out for 41. The stun is gone! He's gone! Well, great effort by Antini. He's got five, taking his second slip. Herschel Gibbs takes the catch. South Africans are on their toes, and so they should be. What a bowling performance. No mistake that time. They kept at it. Makai Natini deserves a medal. That one beautifully taken. That's his tenth five-wicket innings, fifth outside South Africa, first against Australia, and the third time he's taken five wickets in 2005. A wonderful performance in the first day. Five for 62 of 18 overs. Carried the attack. Oh, superbly. Good to see actually a captain coming over there. This uh, this ground holds a special place in the heart of Makai and Tini, 